We're expected to see where shares are going to price ahead of their IPO tomorrow, Emily. So what's the latest we're hearing on the DoorDash front? That's right, Zach. We are going to be getting that pricing for DoorDash's initial public offering tonight after market close. And that stock is set to begin trading on the New York Stock Exchange tomorrow morning. Now, last Friday, DoorDash had raised the price range for its stock offering, saying it would market 33 million shares for between $90 and $95 a piece. That's up from its previous range of between $75 and $85 per share. Now, that suggests that on the high end, DoorDash is going to be raising $3.1 billion and have a fully diluted valuation of $35 billion, including those stock options and restricted stock units. Now, just taking a look at DoorDash here, you were just talking about Uber Eats and that being a competitor here in the space. DoorDash is the market leader here in the U.S. It had a market share lead of nearly 20 points ahead of Uber Eats back in April at the height of those stay-in-place orders. Of course, a ton of competition here and a race to really snap up market share in this food delivery space, given the increased demand that we've had over the course of 2020. So we'll be interesting to see what demand looks like on that front. And then I also want to highlight that we are going to be getting the pricing and initial trade of another public offering later this week, and that's for Airbnb. And that is also going to be one of this year's largest IPOs, another one of the most highly anticipated. And for that company in particular, we're looking to see Airbnb raise as much as $3.1 billion or potentially the same amount as DoorDash after market Marketing more than 51 million shares in its IPO for between $56 and $60 a share. Now, Airbnb had also ranged the range of uh, raised the range of that IPO as well earlier this week. And just taking a look at the valuation that Airbnb is likely going to be fetching on the high end, that implies a fully diluted valuation of $42 billion, a big increase here from what we saw the company last fetch in the private markets at $18 billion in April. And even back in 2017, before the pandemic, Airbnb had been valued at about $31 billion. So even given some of the uh, the damage that the company has seen to its business over the course of the pandemic, still seeing potentially a lot of demand here for this IPO and for DoorDash's. We'll see how that shapes up tomorrow and Thursday.